Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elantra Danae. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on today's channel, girl, or on today's video, girl. Thank you for clicking on today's video. It's been a little minute, y'all. It's been a little minute. I gotta get back in the, in the swing of things. I'm human. I'm fucking human. Um, first of all, she has short nails. I feel very much like I can do things now without much of a hassle. Like before, I mean, I'm used to my long nails, but <clears throat> the short nails are just easier, honestly. Like life is doable with long nails, but short, short nails are definitely easier, 100%. So um, it's been a little minute since I posted on YouTube. Um, I got a different job. I've been, you know, working out. Um, I have a trainer now. I'm plugging in the sweat iron. I have a trainer now. We actually went to high school together. My girl, Angie, I'm going to tag her or put her somewhere down here and also the gym as well. I feel comfy there. Like, I see the same people all the time. So it's like, you know, we already have that relationship built at this point this is my first time getting a sew-in in forever like literally like years i'm obviously able to like you know maintain a wig and everything but i feel like this just looks more like the look i'm going for with hairstyles we're looking for something that oh like i don't want to have to do anything to it girl it's almost impossible Either way, there's something, very much something that has to be done to your hair, regardless of the hairstyle. Back to what I was trying to share with y'all before I got distracted. I've been gone for a little minute. Yeah, like I was saying, I started a new job. I like the job. I've been having, you know, my successes there. Definitely giving black girl corporate corporate black girl doing what i need to do giving what needs to be gave until you know i can be a full-time youtuber like that's end game like don't get me wrong like corporate america is nice like it pays it does what needs to be done but like realistically i don't want to work anyone i'd love to just you know film content for a living and you know share my life with people i like you know making my videos talking i can run my mouth okay one thing about me i'm gonna talk this is in game like you know <clears throat> being able to you know hopefully make YouTube my full-time job and leave my nine to five. Right now, baby, we gotta do the nine to five. She pays the bills and, you know, you have to do that. Like it's levels to this shit. And I do have to tell myself those things because I'm doing well, like for a regular corporate girl, you know, like I'm doing, I'm doing well. I am happy for myself and like how far I have come thus far. Cause she's still that girl. I don't ever get twisted. She's that girl. But it's like, you know, you have to work for it. And same with YouTube. Like if I want to be successful with YouTube, I have to work for it. Nothing in life is handed to you. Not for real anyways. But um, yeah, that's basically what's been going on. I've been working, I've been gymming. I'm trying to, you know, change my um, lifestyle. All of that to say, y'all, I've just been trying to, you know, get myself on a routine, a schedule, and, you know, get myself together. So that's all. I'm single. Um, I don't even know if you guys even knew that I was in a relationship before, but your girl is single. Um. Yeah, I'm not talking to anyone in particular or for real. I feel like men 
in our waste of space at this point. <laughs> like, what are y'all here for, really? Besides to procreate. They just be out here wasting your time, girl. Ouch. I need to get a new edge control brush because all of these are like crusty and stiff and just ill. I need to just get a new one. But um yeah. I feel like I feel like men are just here to take up our precious time and distract us. My ex and I aren't on terrible terms, but it's like, even still, my statement still stands. Anything else, anything else to update y'all on? I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell y'all. Oh, um, I'm about to start apartment hunting again just to see what's out there. Cause I don't know if my apartments raise my rent anyways, like it's giving, I'm gonna leave because no. Like I love my apartments. I was, you know, lucky enough to be the first person to live in my unit. I moved into a brand new build, you know. I was able to, you know, live in a nice luxury apartment. Everything that I need is close by. Everything is accessible. Nothing is really out of the way that I go to anyways. Like, mm. <clears throat> even just living in Houston in general, like I'm from here, like everything is about 25 plus minutes anyway so i don't know why you would expect anything less unless you really just live in the mix but anyways i think that's pretty much all i have like update wise like as far as like anything to tell y'all um, I probably am going to do like a little bit of vlogging with the apartment hunting. Um, nothing too crazy just because I don't want to give too much intel into the apartment complex and like what they look like for real and where they are. Because I mean, small world, it's easy to figure out where people live. I just don't want to be that accessible. Not that I think any of y'all are weird, but you know, people are weird. Somebody keeps calling me blocked and it's very weird because I didn't even know people still call blocked these days. Um, unless it's like a significant other and you're just like acting, you know, you're just doing your toxic shit. Like, and I mean, I hope that's not the case. I hope that's not my ex calling a private and he's not even blocked that would be kind of weird and pointless like it's not like you're blocked so why would you need to do that i don't see why he would do that and i hope that's not him but um yeah i don't know who the fuck is calling me blocked but if this is if you're watching me and you're calling me blocked Call me from your number and at least say something. Like, stop being weird and just holding the phone. Like, I think that's pointless. Or I've never done that anyways. I've never called somebody blocked to, like, be, like, weird and, like, try to listen in on them or get to see if they don't pick up. Like, I've never even done that. But, like, if I do, like, I'm going to say something. Like, why would I just call and be quiet? Like, that's weird. I can hear your background, but you're not saying anything. It's just weird. I don't know. Nevertheless... If it's you, speak up. Like, say it with your chest. Because it's already weird that you call me every day. Multiple times a day. But, like, the fact that you're not speaking is just giving pussy. I gave y'all my little update. Let y'all know, like, what I had going on. Like, you know, what I'm kind of trying to do going forward. And then, um... 
yeah so today we're going to get our eyebrows threaded um like a little bit of self-care just a little and then we're gonna go shopping we're probably gonna go to the mall because i just need a few like everyday pieces that i'm lacking in before i like buy my cart from sheen wax slash threading stores i do want to get a new mirror for my room like it's it's non-negotiable. Hey y'all, so I am currently on my way to the Galleria. Hopefully, you know, even if that, I can still find some of what I need at the mall. Cause I need to go to the mall anyways, but yeah. And then I'm gonna go to Marshall's afterwards cause I wanted to get a new mirror. I'm gonna focus on the road cause these people drive us fucking stupid over here. Welcome back. It's Sunday from the last time y'all saw me. I'm pretty sure the last thing y'all saw was me on my way to um to like run errands or like go do something. I know like I did a little update and then get ready with me. I need to put lip gloss on by the way. But I'm now about to go out to brunch. So we're about to go to State Fair. Um, their food looks so yummy. I'll like put the details here if you're in Houston and you want to try a good restaurant because like I've been scoping them out, but like I'm just now getting to go. Um, make a reservation if you do want to go because they're packed most of the time. So yeah, this is my outfit. I'll be wearing it with my clear heels. I need to get these pants taken in Ugh, if they look so bad, but I don't, I feel like these are the pants that look cute with this because I feel like it's going to. You know, it's simple, but it's giving. I just need to get them taken in a little bit there. But this is the fit. Little green top. Everything's from Forever 21. The shirt is from Forever 21. The pants are from Forever 21. The pants were actually on clearance for like $15. So super cute. Just need to get them taken in in the back. Because your girl's getting skinty. Yeah, y'all, I am going to stop being annoying. I'm about to head out now because the reservations are for, um, sorry, I still got to get used to looking at the camera and not like just staring at myself. Um, yeah, y'all, I'm about to get ready to leave my apartment now. Come on, let's get out of here, Doja. I like to keep her out of my room when I'm not here. She gets into stuff like cats do. And also I'm working on a, um, a gallery wall. That's why it looks kind of botchy in there. Come on, girl, get up. You already know I'm finna leave. Come on, let's go. She already know I'm about to leave and she trying to get comfortable and stuff in the room like she's staying out. No, I'm about to go. I'll see y'all there, bye-bye. Okay, y'all, so I'm the on-time friend this time. This never happened, but Pietti is um, just now leaving her apartment. I didn't know she was just now leaving. I told her what time the reservation was going to be for. And she was like, girl, why did you tell me you're leaving? I'm like, girl, I thought we had a reservation. We can't leave around the same time, but I'm not tripping y'all. I don't mind. Um, I'm about to go ahead and head in so that I can get our table, check on our table, see what that looks like. And then, um, yeah, I'll just kind of show y'all a little overview. It's cute over here. Yes, 
So no, I've never had an uh what'd you say it was emotional called? Emotional damages gift. No, but you know, he's already giving me gifts for like oh like this is yeah, before like before you like say before you ask the question. Low key I did get some dunks right before mm -hmm, that's he right. and I <laughs> see. Like you always gotta take something that you smile at. It's like, I want. Me wearing the shoes and looking like, what's a new boo? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, should you put me through? You think you're gonna leave? Honestly. Ah, bro. Hey, yeah. I, I started doing that when I was 18. You gotta start treating them how they treat us. In retrospect. Niggas will fuck you and then a day later they're like, yeah, but like we're not compatible. Why are you fucking me though? Like, like goofy. <laughs> you're wasting your own time. Like that's what you don't realize. Like and a nigga that don't see that as wasting their own time, yeah, I need some money now. Cause now I need something. I yeah. need something from you. Niggas are stupid anyways, they don't think. Yeah. Get a little bag. For us, yes. I don't know what this is in the background, but it got me like, oh, yeah, <laughs> whatever he's saying. I don't know what he's saying, but it's like vibing with it. Like, his vibe is so good. <laughs> it's such a pretty day outside. No, for real. Houston been going off lately, like the past few days. Yeah, did you see next weekend? What? 80 and sunny, girl. It's okay, giving, come through spring. It's given, are we outside? It's given, might as well be. Let me go ahead and start my sheen cart. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs>